previously on I Am Not a Chef. Twelve contestants met the judges. Diana, the show creator. Joe, the celebrity chef. And finally, Kanisha, the host and actress. Each contestant is passionate about cooking. The contestants were divided into three teams. Each team is composed of four people. Now, each team has 60 minutes to prepare salad, appetizer, main course, and dessert. On your marks, get set, cook. Hey, not you. <laughs> that was so good. She's trying to sneak and cheat. I see you. <laughs> she came back so fast. That was so good. So, guys, you did it. So, how was it? It was fantastic. We were excited to celebrate International Blue Team, Blue Team Day. Day. Pat made chopped salad for a starter. For an appetizer, Greta cooked vegetable rolls. For the main course, the Blue Team presented lamb chops made by Svetlana. And for dessert, Adriana cooked bolinos. Are you dressing your fish? I am going to just slightly fry it first, and then it's going to be some seasoning. What's for dessert? Who's responsible? Are you making dessert? I'm making a cookie. Oh, what cookie? Um, a chocolate chip. I'm staying by the table. For the starter, Irina made quinoa salad. Kiki cooked grilled vegetables for an appetizer. For the main course, the orange team prepared fried red snapper made by Akeem. And for dessert, Antoinette baked chocolate chip cookies. I see anything back there, so what are you guys making? Um, What's your plan? So, he's making stuffed mushrooms for the appetizer. Okay. Jada cooked cheddar broccoli soup for a starter. For an appetizer, Raul made stuffed mushrooms. For the main course, the yellow team presented roasted chicken cooked by Edvina. And for dessert, Ava baked banana pudding. Here you are, back here. Congratulations for the first challenge. You all did great, some better than the others. And uh, I personally would like to comment on your team. Now, the judges are ready to share their impressions about the dishes. The judges like the vegetables cooked by Kiki. As for the red snapper made by Akeem, the judges reached a consensus that something was missing. I love the way how you recreated the Asian sauce without with having very little ingredients here, but it was, something was missing. The judges loved the quinoa salad presented by Irina. The chocolate chip cookies made by Antoinette, on the other hand, were overbaked. The judges liked Pat's salad, although the kale could have been more chopped and the salad more tossed. Greta's dish was lacking in taste in the judges' mutual opinion. As for the lamb chops prepared by Svetlana, the judges found the lamb extremely bland. However, the judges loved the Bellinos baked by Adriana. Adriana, I absolutely loved your dessert. I have nothing bad to say about it, and that's it. The judges found the broccoli soup by Jada creamy and flavorful. Raul cooked stuffed mushrooms, and the judges liked it because all the ingredients worked well together. However, the judges found Edvina's roasted chicken not seasoned well enough. The chicken, unfortunately, was undercooked. Uh, I like dark meat, I went to the bone, I like holding my chicken, biting off that bone, it was too big. The banana pudding baked by Ava was not too sweet, and most of the judges liked it. The team that is immune from the elimination is... Orange team. The four weakest contestants were picked to compete in the Elimination Challenge. Pat, Svetlana, Edvina, and Greta. The judges also commented on their weaknesses. So you each individually will have 25 minutes to prepare a sports appetizer dish. The contestants must use the ingredients in the mystery box. They have to choose one cheese, one herb, and one salad greens. The theme of the cooking challenge is sports night. Only one of the participants will advance to the next level. Edvina cooked chicken tenders with honey mustard. She called it a baseball dish. Judges found her chicken tenders nicely cooked and delicious. Svetlana made fried chicken, fried fish, stuffed burger, and stuffed chicken breast. She called it a sumo night dish. 
The judges found Svetlana's dish somewhat flavorful, but she would have been better off if she concentrated on one protein. Greta made chicken tender rolls. She called it a baseball dish. The judges liked Greta's dish, but it didn't meet the expectation of the task at hand. Pat cooked buffalo chicken dip. He called it a football dish. Also, the judges found Pat's dish mouth-watering, and it suited the sports theme. Eventually, Pat passed the elimination challenge and rejoined the blue team. To create a fair play, Akeem joined the blue team. So why are you so happy to be here? He's not like we said a team player. He's not a fair way. He's not a fair way. Yeah. It's not like I volunteer to do something. They don't want to be the way they see the show. You will be joining the blue team. Now there are three contestants in each team. Each team has 45 minutes to make two appetizers while faced with a surprise sabotage. The yellow team will start cooking with a 10 minute delay. The blue team will use only four burners and the orange team is not allowed to use electric appliances. The theme for cooking is children's party. Ava cooked meatball bruschetta. In the judge's opinion, Ava's dish lacked sauce. Like a sloppy, like kind of what we were talking about earlier, like someone should have made a sloppy joe, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's missing the sauce that a sloppy joe needs. Jada cooked mystery chili. The judges found Jada's dish very flat and lacking spices and flavor. You know what usually goes in a chili, right? Like you have ground beef, tomato paste, cumin, um, oregano. Cumin salt, but cumin. You need spices. It's just, again, falling a little, falling flat. a little short. Yeah. A little flat. Raul made kebab. The judges found the beef dry, but the sauce complemented the beef very well. Off the screen sauce was it? And pesto? yogurt and the the yogurt the sauce, whatever they have the it was like blue cheese or something like that. They no, work I very well yogurt. together. Yeah. Is the yogurt? Well, they so. complement each other very well in terms of taste. Yeah. Anything by itself separately? No. Akeem made a sandwich. In the judges' opinion, there were too many ingredients mixed up together, and it was not well executed. Where I'm from, yeah. we have grilled cheese that's made with mac and cheese. So I get the idea here. Okay. Execution. Did not work? Okay. Did not work. See, I, I did not know that. Pat made shrimp grilled cheese. The judges found the dish very balanced and tasty. My toast was a little bit burnt, but it's good. I think kids would like it. It's Super very kids cheesy, friendly. yeah. The Ready. shrimp is kind of hidden in there. You get the slight flavor of it, yep. but it doesn't like overpower. Yep. Adriana cooked potato croquettes, which were received well by the judges. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. This tastes really good. I taste that flavor. I'm surprised that the, the texture of the potato, I taste potatoes. Mm -hmm. And shrimp. And the shrimp. I, it goes really well together. Antoinette made grilled cheddar cheese with chicken. The judges didn't taste chicken in the dish. I mean, it tastes like a good toast with a good, it tastes like a great a good grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but it's not perfect. Like perfect crust on the we outside. We need protein in every part because if we choose one, it doesn't have protein. Yeah. We don't automatically. Then so how we do we job. rate on the taste? And I mean, it tastes great, but it tastes it's missing like protein. It tastes like grilled cheese. Okay. Kiki made chicken with mustard sauce. The judges liked the dish, although the chicken was not sufficiently seasoned. Yeah, the chicken's missing some seasoning. A little dry. I'm surprised. Not enough salt, but the sauce is really good. Yeah. I think kids would like just drink the that salt. honey mustard sauce. <laughs> Irina made stuffed mushrooms with vegetables, which the judges liked a lot. The mushroom is so enough for me. I love how everything comes together in my mouth. I'm sorry. It's doing something really good for me in my mouth. It's not as good as the other stuffed mushroom that we had. No, yeah. that is correct. But I feel like she's right behind him with this. The winner or the winning team of this challenge that will have immunity is the yellow team. Ooh, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Irina, Akeem, Kiki, and Antoinette were picked for the elimination challenge. In 25 minutes, they have to cook a dish with tofu, celery, and watercress. The theme is vegetarian, although it is allowed to use eggs and dairy products. At the beginning of the cooking, Kiki lost her fighting spirit. 
For Kiki, cooking tofu was confusing because she had never cooked tofu in her life. I think, I don't know, my mind left my body again. Your mind left your body. So you were basically out. You were not here. You were, you were physically here, just mentally you were checked out. Why? This is a challenge. You should I'm realize that this is a challenge. You might not like it. You still have to do it. Yeah, I know. Do you want to be here? Yeah. Why didn't you act like you want to be here? I think I was like shocked like, at the fact that I was doing something that I didn't do before and it's like, all right, put something together. And I thought I was putting something together, but maybe I didn't execute it the way I thought I was going to execute. Nevertheless, she started to cook her dish. Other contestants were doing their best. Antoinette cooked pasta with tofu. The judges found the combination of tofu and pasta very weird. Akeem cooked tofu with rice. The judges loved her dish. Kiki cooked tofu soup. In the judges' opinion, the soup was salty and there was no tofu. Irina cooked tofu with greens. Irina's dish seemed sour to the judges. Eventually, Akeem passed the elimination challenge. The teammates were happy for Akeem. Akeem made a choice to start her own team, the orange team. Jada from the yellow team decided to join her. Adriana and Pat are in the blue team, while Ava and Raul are in the yellow team. The judges invited a special guest. Jeff is a sommelier who gave a master class on wine and food pairing. The contestants are back on track for the last challenge. The theme is a romantic dinner. The yellow team made shakshuka, brisket, mushroom soup, and chocolate-covered chickpeas. The blue team made bruschetta, spaghetti with salmon, and dessert. The orange team made salad, spaghetti with chicken, and chocolate chip cookies. Now the judges will express their opinions, and three finalists will be fighting for the grand prize of $5,000. Very, very difficult challenge um, to judge, but also to see you guys cook. 45 minutes, uh, you dropped some of your dessert on the floor, you had some issues in your kitchen. Blue team, you seem to be uh, sailing right through your, through your cook. So um, I know you had multiple things cooking at the same time, and then you were going to choose one and present it. Um, regarding your dish, uh, I felt that there was too much garlic. Yellow team, you had issues in the kitchen, you guys brought it together, put three beautiful dishes, four beautiful dishes in front of us, um, but your game plan changed, right? I went over and talked to you, you said you were making shakshuka, probably gonna be served as a, as a dessert, and then we had a heart with chocolate covered chickens. So tell me a little bit about that. Well, originally, the, um, the concept behind the shakshuka and dessert, we were interpreting dessert as the, the last course of the date. And I was hoping that I could get her to stay over and we would have that wake-up dish. That's worked pretty well. The yeah. yeah. story was great. <laughs> shakshuka, she knows shakshuka, I know shakshuka. They were very good. Yes. They were the first time. He got introduced to it now. He loves it too. He asked me five times, wrote it down. Yeah. Oh, I think that it was one of the better dishes of me at the whole competition, to be honest with you. It was great. And I'm really, really glad that you took the advice that he was implying and you made it an appetizer. It's mm -hmm. A for effort in terms of the creative story to that, mm -hmm. but I think that it was a really, really great appetizer. The winning team is the orange team. Blue dress, I really thought you were with me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> salad was excellent. The, uh, oh, as, as, a, as an appetizer, I think that it, in terms of interacting with the wine, was the winner for me. I think that it was clean and bright and refreshing. Not only a great salad to start off on a night. What I loved is that the salad didn't take away from the wine, the wine did not take away from the salad. They just really created harmony and uh, complemented each other. So a very good job. So Diana, 
Will you please do the honors of telling them who moves on to the next round? Does that mean I have to say goodbye like, for three of them? Yes. yes. It hurts me too. Look, you've all worked so hard to get here. You're one step away from the last round. We have to say goodbye to three of you. Sorry, that's the game. And only one moves on. And the only person that wins the next round, Ava. We really appreciate all of you putting yourselves in the dishes. We notice that when you cook, it reads through your food. Um, we, we thank you for all that. You guys are all very talented cooks, believe it or not. Like this, you're in almost to the last round. You got this far, and it's because of your cooking. So, you guys really are dope. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ava. Congratulations, Ava. Unfortunately for the rest of you, Pat, Adriana, and Rahul, you will not be moving on. Please remove your aprons. This hurts. And please bring them here and place them on the table. I'm going to send me a dry clean bill for this one. <laughs> we'll send it to you. Welcome back, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a journey, right? Yes. Well, we started with 12 of you. We're down to three. This is a big moment. Final challenge. $5,000 on the line. <laughs> so, if you Whoever wins, how are you going to spend that thousand dollars? I'm going to take my family on a vacation and put the rest in safety. That's this is right, nice. sweet of you. I, right. I need a new stove at my house. So <laughs> I need a new stove. Very good. Yes. So basically, I'm a published author and I started my own self publishing company. So we we'll go to that. Nice. nice. Every one of you has a very good reason to win. Mm -hmm. The next challenge is 45 minutes. You will have to prepare your best dish ever. You will all be using one electric stove, but you can use ingredients from any pantry and you can use any workspace and utensils that you need. You will be using the special ingredient that is in the bottom of the pot that's in front of you. Is that you can make the best dish that you want from any of those ingredients. Choose what you want. You don't have to use everything. 45 minutes is on the clock. It starts now. Go.
there is only one gas stove for the contestants to fight for $5,000. Contestants are concentrating on preparing their masterpieces. Even the judges can't distract them.
be very nerve-wracking, but we are going to taste the food in front of you. So, I'm praying it tastes good. All right, we're going to start with yours first, Ava, okay? Your shrimp is bomb. Oh. I'm sorry. I was trying to hurry up and get it out, but I was enjoying the flavor and how it's just marinating in my mouth. Your shrimp is bomb. Uh, the flavors are really good. Um, I'm surprised because you've had no butter and you don't even know what the hell this sauce is. So I'm really surprised it tastes good right now. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say. I was seeing if your rice was hard, but it's not really that hard. It could have cooked a little bit more, but maybe a minute. Yeah, I'll give you a pass on that one. But besides that, it's actually really good. I love the flavor. Flavor, sorry. taste, salt. Lemon, everything is there. Garlic, it's 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 wow. All right, let's be real. Oh, oh the chef's talking. Um, the flavor is nice. Uh, I do appreciate that you cleaned your shrimp veins. The shrimp is slightly overcooked. It's a little tough. Um, and the collards, which I was super excited because you're from the south and really wanted to have some amazing collards, are not cooked enough. You know, it's a tough vegetable. You gotta either massage it or really cook it down. Um, they're good. Again, the flavor's there. Just not completely cooked. For me, I think the, the beef is nicely cooked. Uh, I think it needs more seasoning. Uh, the kale was is very front forward and powerful. What did you use in there? Like a lot of vinegar that you put no, in? No, I use some. I use lime juice. Lime juice. Lime. That's what yeah, you said. Lime. Okay, so it's super like acidic. It. Yeah. Um, on its own, I haven't tried it all together, but yeah, I, I believe. Yeah. yeah. If I have it all in one bite, that acidity mm -hmm. will help round it out. Um, but yeah, a little more salt on the beef. Um, and I, I'd love some hot sauce on this. I agree, maybe a little bit on the spice. But I really like kale. I think it's very fragrant and the lemony taste comes through very strong, but it's not overpowering. I like it. Um, rice is cooked, egg obviously, and the beef is tasty. This is way too strong for me. It's overpowering, uh, very acidic, so it's very hard to enjoy. But I did try it with, because the rice is like a little sweet, so I guess it kind of balanced it out with the egg. But I don't know. I, you said the beef was fine, but it was very chewy. Was it supposed oh. to be chewy? No, it's not supposed to be chewy. I, I, cooked, it, I cooked it medium or it was like kind of medium rare. Okay. Um, so maybe you got a piece that just was a little chewy. Okay, maybe yeah, mine's was super chewy, so I hear still, so I had to spit it out. I like the kale and onion. Um, I like that you, like on this piece, how it's charred, it's cooked. That's how, that's how I like it. That's how it should be. Um, it's a tough vegetable, so you need to cook it down. Um, but you just, you got it just the right point, right? Like, not burnt, just charred on the edges, so you get that little, um, you get the little, like, grill. It's almost like it was grilled, but you don't have a grill. Which I like the shrimp, on the other hand, <clears throat> overcooked. Okay. I did like the shrimp. I think it's perfectly cooked. I like the combination with onion and kale. The pasta, it didn't work for me. I don't know. I don't feel the flavor as strongly as Joe feels. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, I loved the kale and the onions with the shrimp. I kind of figured out because you have a lot of onions going on. The flavor was fine. I, I liked the, the shrimp. I didn't think it was hard or maybe yeah, I just like hard shrimp. I don't know. But I liked your shrimp. Um, uh, this was the, the, the spaghetti and stuff was a little weird. Um, I'm not sure if I like the sauce that much. Maybe okay. it's, I think it's missing something. Maybe like some salt or maybe some spices or something. It's a little on the bland side. Um, the beef was also a little bland okay. for me. As for me, yes, this was an extremely, extremely tough decision. Like borderline emotional for me because like, if I could say all our freaking winners, like, 
here is the money <laughs> for each and every one of y'all, I would. But obviously, unfortunately, that's not what it is. Especially you, Ava. You started out a little weak in the competition, but as it progressed, you definitely came out of your shell. Like you were stalling it down, you were making these different flavors that was really standing out to us. And I, I really love that about you. Akin, you were strong from the jump. Yeah, you had a few flop dishes, but you, your strongest dishes, you had more strong dishes than weak dishes. And I commend you for that. You really always stood your grounds. Jay, you're so shy. I love that about you. You know, you definitely also brought it. I was not sure what to expect from you because you were always so quiet. But you, you're here right now, and I'm, I'm really surprised. And I'm really glad that you are. I've enjoyed a lot of your dishes. Uh, the last one that I had, it was not my complete favorite, but that bowl, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And the winner is... Oh, 